Hey, I'm Danny. And I'm Siobhan. And we just got done eating a bunch of Cheryl's cookies. And if you're wondering how they taste, we will talk to you about what we thought. Cheryl's cookies. Ooh. Okay. Here we go. Uh, well, that's a lot of cookies. Yeah. <laughs> Are we gonna try all of these? We have to eat all of them. It's the buttercream frosted key lime white Ooh. chocolate cookie. So blind taste test for the this one. Hmm. I actually really like that. It's one. actually pretty limey. Mm. A little dry. Yeah, just, but it's not too bad. Mm -hmm. But it's better than like a grocery store, like buttercream cookie for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So the next one, this is the orange citrus buttercream. <laughs> that one is definitely fresher. Mm. Yeah, the cookie consistency, I think is a little bit better in this one. Yeah. That was, I think the frosting is pretty much the same as the other one, but it's very smooth and buttercreamy. I think it's a good buttercream. Yeah. Well, and if you're wondering if it has like that artificial or like frozen taste, it definitely doesn't. Yeah, definitely not. Like I'm not getting like that, like artificial end note. Now one of my favorites. Oh, oh this is your favorite? One of them, yeah. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Oatmeal cookie. One out of 10, what would you give this oatmeal cookie? I would give it, I would say six out of 10. What? Okay. I what would it was, you give it? I would give it like a, yeah. maybe a seven out of 10. I'll give it a seven out of 10. Yeah, I'll, I'll be a little more generous. Like it's not like it blows the, me away. No. It's not bad. It's not the best I've ever had, but it's good. Yeah. The, like, the texture was good. It was nice and gooey. Great. I don't know the last time I've I would store say um, this is better than the Subway oatmeal raisin Ooh. cookies that they give. Good comparison. Which I'm very familiar with. Yeah. <laughs> this is a straight up sugar cookie. Sugar cookie. This is just a sugar cookie. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> you like that one. Mm-hmm. Mmm. There's some flavor in it. It's got a great vanilla flavor. That's it, yeah. The, yeah. the vanilla flavor's super strong in it. And it's a good vanilla. It's not like a... Sometimes vanilla flavoring is a little artificial tasting, yeah. but this one tastes Yeah, good. Th this was real vanilla. It was definitely not artificial vanilla. I would say, though, the dough is a little bit mm. chewy. Maybe. Yeah, maybe a little too chewy. Maybe a little too chewy. That's a thing is like, is it, was it intentional or is it undercooked? Yeah. Okay, I have a good feeling about this one. This is the chocolate obsession cookie. Not just chocolate, but the chocolate obsession. We're obsessed. It's Getting kind close of to falling fudgy apart. almost, or oh, like dark really? chocolatey it seems. Mm. But let's see what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. Mm. It's not too rich, not too sugary. I actually really like that. Mm. For a chocolate cookie. Yeah. Like. It's not too sugary. It's more about flavor mm -hmm. and less about just cheating with sugar and just overdoing it. Yeah, definitely. I'd say these cookies all have a very distinct flavor. Yeah. I give this a seven out of 10. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. Solid. Okay, this is a great follow-up cookie. It's a peanut butter cookie. This is my favorite type of cookie. Is it? I guess you could say I'm a discerning customer of mm. peanut butter. <laughs> yeah, it is a bit it crumbly, just looks kind like of a like. Sand cookie. Crumbly is not necessarily bad. Mm. I'd say this is an average peanut butter cookie. Mm. It's fine, but mm -hmm. it's nothing special. I would say, like the chocolate one, this is really not very sweet. Normally, peanut mm -hmm. butter cookies taste very sweet. Yeah. And this one, it has a very strong nutty peanut flavor. Yeah. Almost salty. For a peanut butter cookie, I'd give it about a four out of 10. Ooh, okay. Yeah. It's pretty low. I mean, yeah, it wasn't my, I, I would still love to eat it. Classic chocolate chip. Classic chocolate chip. It's got some- It's wool. actually called the classic chocolate chip. Everyone makes a chocolate chip cookie, so how are you gonna differentiate yourself? So true, yeah. Here we go. I would say it's average. It's got all the normal flavors. There's nothing special about it. I would say it's kind of on the cookie dough side again. Yeah. Which some people love. Yeah. In a chocolate chip cookie. So if that's what you like, then this would be great. I'd say that as a theme in general for these cookies is yeah. like they're more on the cookie dough side for all of them. Yeah, which one stood out to you? As being the best? Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely the key lime cookie. Mm. I think, I don't, I've never had a cookie like that. And yeah. it had a really strong key lime flavor. Yeah. It tasted like key lime the pie. The frosting was on point. Their, their frosting actually was probably the highlight. Yeah. 
I used to eat their frosted cookies. They're doing something right. Those were exceptional. I feel like the other ones were kind of standard. Yeah. A little bit. Um, I just received a cookie tower as a gift from my husband from my husband's uncle. I was super excited and then I opened the package. The good is beautiful packaging and no preservatives, which I would say is consistent with what okay. we tasted. Yeah. The bad is everything is individually packaged. It's think <laughs> of fancy hostess or little Debbie. Yeah. In all save your money, go to Kroger, get some cookies and put them in cute tins. I looked at what he paid for these and I am appalled. I don't mm. have the heart to tell the sender that these are trash cookies. Damn. Wow. I'd say they're a little harsh. bit better than like the store cookies. I wouldn't quite say they're that bad. Yeah. So anyways, thanks for watching. We really enjoyed this. Let us know in the comments if you're gonna buy some of the Cheryl's cookies. Like, it would be great to know. Like, we're just curious and it's fun. So yeah, uh, we will see you later. Bye.